religion and its importance has grown, not just uh, by numbers but by influence. You need only look at the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa, the fall of Marcos in the Philippines, the peaceful revolutions in Eastern Europe, the human rights movements in Latin America, the peace processes in Mozambique, Colombia, Uganda, or for example, the Dalai Lama's leadership in Tibet. In every one of these positive instances, you have religious leaders and communities leading the way to a more peaceful world. Ultimately, interfaith dialogue is about reaching common ground to solve the world's problems. And we know those are huge, greater than ever before. In this day and age, the 21st century, post 9-11, where we know there are those who use religion as a catalyst for violence and for extremism and for terror, we owe it to ourselves to reach out and find someone of another faith and build a friendship in order to better understand those people who live across the pond. Dialoguing with people of other faiths at the most deep levels is fundamentally an emotional decision. And yet, to make that decision to go forward is and should be the, one of the most important decisions I think we as people of faith in America have to make. And to not make it, to opt out, to deny the emotional reality of that need, I think is to deny fundamentally who we are as people. Mm -hmm.